Hi everyone, Nigel Saunders here. I had a busy morning in the orchard. The focus for today's session in the orchard was pruning. We pruned up all the trees in the orchard, pruning them back to size, getting rid of all the long branches that grew up. And I gave a big talk on, you know, how to prune, pruning for the structure, air circulation in the branches, ramification, and all that kind of basic stuff that we do in bonsai. So I'll show you some footage of today's morning in the orchard. This is nice actually. That can come out here and that'll be a really nice. Or we can take these and sort of start to grow them out here. Um, so there's still plants, there's still stuff we can work with that is already here. fill this side out. Yeah. yeah. yeah um, and as we go higher, we might have something over here too. Um, that's I'm just sure. wondering if this guy should come back right. That's the artist's choice, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe to allow for that air in between the two levels. What do you think, Ryan? Is it rotten? That was, oh. it's all wet. Oh, it's wet, so that's great. Uh, and we have another stick now, yeah. that's good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, now I feel so, like there's more. This forest here, um, it used to be an ash forest, but it's now been basically replaced by invasive European buckthorn. Yeah. And it usually grows quite scraggy. Yeah but you will get some nice long shoots and so we because it's so invasive and it's unmanaged i feel like we can go in there and cut some nice steaks from it okay. and buckthorn it's one redeeming trait is that it's rot resistant <laughs> and hard oh. so that's it's it's it. actually it won't sprout a root. That's, yeah. so we're, we'll probably won't be cutting the trees down because they're they're fairly well established now but they've got lots of suckers coming out of them that have then developed so they, there's actually a lot of really nice stakes that are about the two by two size and it's it's almost like it's designed for that they're rot resistant they're hard and we've got an abundance and there are trees that nobody wants to. the city would love it if we put them out them and so when we prune it during the winter time when they're dormant it basically has less space to put all of its resources that it's already stored. So it will actually sometimes come back extra vigorous. So this isn't too concerning. What's concerning is when it girdles the roots. So trees, they have that, the cambium layer, which is just inside the bark. That's where all the nutrients travel up. So if you encircle it, if you just took even a half a centimeter band all the way across, you would kill the tree because it has nowhere to send its nutrients. This we can simply just prune back we don't want branching this this low right. so we'll just take off any branching and this will grow up and it's been knocked back but there's nothing we can do about that now but it will still grow and it'll be do fine and all of its energy that it got last year from growing it's it has in the roots so this tree will probably take off once it warms up and it'll be fine do you think that stake's uh, large enough beside it, Ryan? <laughs> yeah, I don't think you can actually pull that back a bit, but... Yeah. So the graft is fine. Our tree is fine. It is just a bit shorter. Yeah. Now there is one, I think, over here we didn't think was going to live. This one looks dead. Yeah. This is one of the pears. They, they were dead last year, I think. Yeah. Okay. What happened to that one? Who knows? We had a few pears, and they all died. Oh, they're so green under when you Is there? when you scrape. Maybe the buds was. don't seem too alive. Even if this one was alive, we we probably wouldn't do anything. It's already been topped, yeah. so it's already encouraged branching, and there's nothing more yeah, we would do to that one. Yeah. Anyways, so and it's weak, so we don't wouldn't want to touch it anyways. Maybe it's, these are raspberries planted in here in between. Yeah. Uh, maybe it was this one that was already dead. All right, this is a rabbit chewed one. Anyone want to take this one on? I don't think there's much to do, is there? <laughs> what is it? So there's the graft. Yeah. So would you just take off this? Uh, or even just even leave it? Even nothing, yeah. yeah. Just, leave just leave it. That one. Yeah. yeah. And what is it, Dorothy? It is a semi-dwarf apple wealthy. Oh, it's supposed to be one of the hardier ones. Well, maybe it'll come back, hopefully. Yeah. We can hope. Um, 
As a ground cover here, I've heard uh, garlic is good in between the trees. Yeah. Okay. Raspberries. Would you leave it? Um, yeah. These are raspberries. Yeah. It doesn't matter. At this um, point. Currants. Anything actually, but the garlic is good because it it has that scent and it yeah. they don't smell the fruit trees as much. Okay. So we've got the rabbits. A, we've got one here that was it was a whip last year, just a simple stick. And it, we pruned it, so it now it's created three branches, like we talked about. Apples, like, they usually like the three. What would we do with this one? I would leave one branch long and the other two short. All right. Is that what you would do, Ryan? We can pick a leader. So one of these we want to be a leader. Yeah. Um, we could even try and prop it up like that. And then the other two, Nigel wants to make into branches. So we'll prune them back. Kind of hip height so it'd be the lowest part yeah. of your scaffold branches and then apples really like having a leader they want to know who's in charge they're sort of like a wolf pack oh, is it? so if we, this guy's our leader we want him to be distinctly taller than the others so we don't want to prune him back down here we want to keep him sort of nice and tall but we also want to encourage him to branch a bit he's not going to stay up but he'll they know he's the boss yeah okay the hormones can come back can we tie him to the we could um, he'll naturally grow up. Okay. Trees want to grow up, so he'll ne next year if they know he's the boss, he'll grow up. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. This is sweet cherry. Sweet cherry. So cherries are a little different, so we're gonna leave them okay. for today. Okay. It's too much information. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um, mulberry. They they'll act like a like an apple tree. Okay. So we've got a leader. We've got one branch. That sounds great. Yeah. <laughs> so we could leave it um, or we could just simply tip the top. It doesn't matter. Um, just for fun, because we like pruning, we'll tip the tops. There we That's go. It. That's it. Easy as that. Here's another easy one. Yeah, this is another <laughs> easy one. The rabbits got to it, but it doesn't matter. Below our waist or even our, sorry, our thighs, so we don't want this guy, which the rabbits wanted. And we just got a, uh, we call this a whip now if there's no branches. And we would simply prune him back to encourage some branching. Around waist height is where we want to start, so there we go. Perfect. That's it. When they're this young, you can see it goes really fast. Yeah. What do we got there, Shelly? This is an apple. Apple. Spy. 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 Oh, I like those. So we've got a leader. So and we've got two branches starting. Those are borderline high enough. So we could we could leave them or we could take them. It's up to you. Oh yes, it does. It has a little bit of a rabbit bite. So let's take him off. Yeah, that would, makes our decision really easy. Yeah. We'll say they're too low then. I would. Yeah, I think they were. And we'll simply knock that back to Top it. branching. Get our first scaffolding branches. Yeah. Perfect. This one's pretty much the exact same as that previous one without the rabbit damage that I can see. Yeah. So we'll do the opposite. This one, we'll leave the branches, we'll knock them back, and we'll just take this back just a wee Tip little bit. A bit. Yeah. And the, this guy's actually a cherry. I think. I don't see the thing, but he's not an apple. I don't think. Oh well. He'll be fine. Yeah. Alright. That's the right. Do you want to go down this road, Brian, or there's probably more to sure. prune on these ones? These ones are just little whips. <laughs> that guy he's a cherry. Yeah. Something really got that other This one one's dead road. already. Yeah. There's no really life left in him. So oh really? Yeah. We don't have to do much with oh. him. We can... How bad's the ringing on that? It's um, you've got some serious rabbit hands. Yeah, it looks like it was kind of a brutal. Really? I don't know. I don't know. No, there are guard works though. Yeah. Yeah. It's fine where the guard is. I guess something will come out as so, long as we get... Oh, sorry. You go ahead. So we've got our graft here. It was pruned back here, possibly by rabbits, last year. Yeah. 
and then it looks like the rabbits are pruning it again for us. Yeah. So we need to, this tree in theory almost would survive. There's almost a root up, yeah. but not quite. And so we need to cut below that. And so we'll just pick anywhere below it. But as I'm cutting it, he's feeling pretty dead already. So he might not make it. Yeah. So we've got two that might need replacement. Yeah. There's there's an apple tree just outside the local. Yeah. Uh, right in front of the greenhouse. That the rabbits took it back right to the graft, about an inch above the graft. And if you drive by the local now, it's a tree, tons of branches. It's completely recovered. Really? Wow. They got quite the pile of snow on the trees there. Look at this. From the shoveling in the parking lot. Well, this is wild, eh? Yeah. yeah. It's like because the snow was so high. Yeah. Like they yeah. Because yeah. Because they did yeah. yeah. This year there was wow. like good snow. So but I've left it sometimes and sometimes they oh. survive. Yeah. 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 So this guy like looks survivable. Um, he's not completely girdled. There's still a, a nice sort of half inch all along this side where he's free. But he's going to struggle for sure. Wow. Those wow, rabbits, eh? Yeah. We're gonna have to get more guards going all the way up, oh, I think. Yeah, yeah. do we want some more, like, 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 higher, like longer ones? Yeah, I think you've got the 40 Maybe. or 48 inches. Those seem to be better. Okay. I have, um, I took them home to my place. I yeah. think we've got about four left. Okay. Because I put them on all well, the rest of the trees. Anyways, obviously so now, the chicken wire. Is that... Chicken wire might work too. Yeah. yeah, chicken wire could, if it's nice and fine. Yeah. Um, but you, yeah, you can, chicken wire is hard to get above three feet. Yeah. Well, usually it comes in yeah. two or three. I put it. If you could get it four feet, that could potentially cloth, work. Yeah. Then. yeah. I put chicken wire around the seedlings in the bed over there because they were getting chewed on. So yeah. I put a big ring around it, and that yeah. seemed to okay. save them. So. Yeah. And this is a plum, Ryan. This so one's does a it plum. Have to be done differently, or? So it's going to respond differently. Okay. Um, I think we had sort of decided we were going to treat all of these as uh, a central leader, which is the style we're here so we can prune it roughly the same it's not gonna respond quite as vigorously sending out new shoots so we just have to be a little more careful in how we prune these ones okay. um, so this guy um, he wants he's he, they're a little confused as to who's boss right here everybody's going up mm -hmm. um, and so we're just gonna sort of remind them that they're branches <laughs> and not That's a pretty harsh, there's a little guy out there, but I think that'll be all right. Mm -hmm. um, this guy would be nice to have a, to be a branch because we don't have a whole lot down low. So we're gonna prune him so that he can become a branch. Like that. And that's tricky. It's gonna probably rub on the, on the stake at all. So let's take the stake out. These guys should be old enough now that they can handle a bit. Yeah. And are, is this the row that has to be removed? Yeah, he's going to be moved anyways, actually. So that's perfect. Yeah, on the inside. Oh, that was a rod. <laughs> so, um, up top here, we've got a lot going on. Um, we, we've got some branches down here that we probably want to keep because we have very little down low. So we'll see those as branches and I'm just gonna simply pick one of these as a leader. Um, this guy here, and we'll take the rest off that are close to him. Um, this guy will become a branch and this guy will become a branch. Something like that. And this guy will take off. So hopefully these guys can branch out. Um, and we'll, next year it could sort of really fill out. I don't know which, we're gonna move this guy so we might use him again. Yeah. We've got some more rabbit damage on this guy too. That's a red apple woman. Here's a red pride. apple. So we've got some rabbit damage over here, so we'll cut him off. Uh, this guy, same thing, the whole bottom of him is damaged. Let's cut him back. I don't think there's anything there, but Let's see if we can get something. There's a bud there. Yeah. 
that might spread out. No. Um, now we're gonna go back to the creating the structure. So we'll take a couple branches here that are sort of nice and low. We'll save those guys. Hopefully these guys can start to create something. We don't have anything over there, so I'm also gonna leave him as a scaffold. Mm -hmm. And we'll take off sort of that next layer. And then maybe we'll look for something up here um, that could do the same. Um, so we've got maybe these three can do something. Mm -hmm. And we'll leave, this guy's going up. He's kind of a funny leader, even though he's technically higher. So, but we'll, so we'll make him the new leader. And we don't want to confuse anybody. So we'll take these guys off. Like that. There's not a lot going on there, but I think next year you can get a lot more sprouting and we'll see what's going on. This guy is, these guys are, this one's... Holy wow. Oh. This guy's not going to make it. Yeah. So... What is it? Oh wow. Yeah, look at that one. It was Liberty Apple. Nasty. So I think our option with a tree like this is simply to prune it back and hope he sprouts. Yeah. Right. That one's really damaged, eh? Can somebody keep an account of like how many of them are almost out? All of them at this point. Yeah. <laughs> if we look down, you're right. Yeah. Hold and rest it. Yeah. So, the, what the rabbits are after is the is the cambium just under the bark. That's the basically the live tissue of a tree. Yeah. And so they've eaten it all along there. And there's nothing we can do to get that oh, back. Okay. Yeah. Um, so it's like cutting off like a blood to your heart. Yeah. Like there's no blood going to the heart anymore. Yeah. Over time, what they do each year, the tree will sort of, when it puts on that new layer of growth of wood, it will encroach on that a little bit. Yeah. Um, and so give it three, four years and it could eventually close yeah. that up. Yeah. Um, but there is basically no sap running yeah. along that side of the tree at this point yeah. um, until it's able to slowly close that up. Yeah. Um, and there's nothing we can do. We can't graft um, yeah. tissue back on. Yeah. Um, and so we just sort of have to hope that the tree will slowly heal yeah. itself. They over. can bridge a small gap, but once it gets yeah. kind of more than the thickness of the trunk, they're out of luck. Yeah. Well, thankfully yeah. it's kind of northish facing, so it won't be getting heavy sun all the time. True. Well, let's try to look on the, on the bright side. <laughs> yeah. I know. <laughs> and then if we, to continue our pruning lesson, we'll just sort of pick a couple scaffold branches here for the future. So I'm liking these thicker ones. So I'm gonna take off the thinner ones um, that are just sort of clouding it up. And I'll knock them back to try and make them be branches. Yeah. Um, he's already did. Yeah. This guy, you can see the different angles. So he's yeah. very vertical. He's maybe like a 10, 15 degrees. So he'll never be a good branch. Mm -hmm. So we want to take him off. Right. Same with this guy. Too vertical. And then we'd simply... Or that's where you need the branch spreaders too, eh? Yeah. You, you could, could spread them a little bit. Yeah. Um, if you really, if he was the only branch you had and you wanted to keep him, you could do yeah. something like that. But <laughs> this tree is not doing so well either. No. Is the rabbit in burlap over the winter, right? They'll just chew through burlap. Oh, yeah. really? Oh, yeah. Rabbit? I think they would. Yeah. Oh. You need something, some sort of physical barrier that, yeah, obviously is going yeah. up to almost waist yeah. height. So, like, Dogs and cats. what about smoke cats? Mm. Possible. Yeah, we'd need, like, something. Yeah, you would need a couple stakes. Sort of create I, I would think chicken wire would probably be the cheapest thing to kind of wrap a tunnel around them yeah because yeah. chicken wire is really cheap anything else is going to get expensive the other option is, a, is you do a couple tree guards yeah so right. put one there and keep try, going up and once they get into the branches though they become really tricky to put yeah. on and off yeah. so something more like chicken wire might be the, a good solution yeah well, we're gonna have to do something. that's what i do with my cedars at home i put chicken wire around the base yeah. and i can actually wire to the branches so it doesn't fall yeah, down or anything Mm. Yeah. Somebody in my neighborhood has that rectangular stuff around the trees. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
hard to find. My uh, husband and I were trying to find Those cedars can probably get unwrapped soon too. Yeah. From with the burlap. They were all so unwrapped. much to do in spring. It's true. It's true. <laughs> doing all right. Spring and early summer. We have to do our dormant go, go, oil. Go. There's but, some rabbit damage, but definitely this guy will do just fine. Oh, and this good. Is a mountain ash. This is a mountain ash. Oh, they don't like mountain ash. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, maybe not quite as valuable. It's not as sweet as the fruit trees. Yeah. So this one doesn't need to be pruned in the same style. We can almost just sort of clean him up. Um, so it's a different kind of style of doing it, but it might look similar. Um, why don't we take this guy off? This gets the little orange berries on it, I think. Ben's who's stronger. Huh? Ben's who's stronger. Yeah. But he'll get, here's gonna get moved anyway. Yeah, we gotta yeah, move so it out. Just to yeah. move this whole row so they can get their lawnmower in. Okay. Yeah, you can see how we started down here. We've got about a oh, yeah, yeah. third of it done. I guess about a third. <laughs> and it didn't take that long, did it? I think we were only for like an hour, hour and a half doing that. Yeah. Yeah. This one's kind of ringed. This is another apple and oh, he's fully look at it. Uh, there's maybe a touch there. But we could, we could prune them, but... They're all like three quarters of the way through. Yeah. Too bad. Which Does anyone want to take a crack? No. Consequence free. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> yeah. Looks awesome. We have the perfect opportunity to use our one limb spreader that we <laughs> go on the other tree. Yeah. We have nothing over this way, so it yeah, doesn't hurt. Yeah. Um, That's the limb spreader. There we go. So we'll try. Well, the, well yeah, if it works, that, that really looks great. Yeah. Beauty. That's beauty. If we can get him to work. And so this, the rest of this, we definitely don't want that. Yeah. And do we, yeah, this is where it gets to help. How much do we want to take away to, to promote growth? It's sort of, of that's the artist's choice at this point. You could leave it completely and it'll, it'll be quite bushy and vigorous. Mm -hmm. Or you could take it back up to here to tr sort of promote that out. That's probably the best for establishing right. future take growth. Yeah. Now it's up to the tree. Yeah. And it's so, Nigel, were you saying, does this have to be tipped? It could be. Um, it's a little long, isn't it, compared to the others? But I mean, yeah, yeah. And we may get like we may get suckers come or not suckers, but branching coming off down lower. So we may not lose the tree. We may lose the top of it, but something will live. Usually, it will. It's very unusual to lose a tree because the top got damaged. I think you have to look at what the rabbits chewed at and everything above that then just to have a <laughs> branching beyond that point. Exactly. It's sort of starting over with the tree, which is too bad. Uh, how's that one? And I can't remember what you said about color. They're just, they're not going to be as vigorous with sprouting new branches. This one's a plum. No rabbit damage because of this nice high guard. Right. Oh, right under there there is. Oh. <laughs> So See, they're pulling the guards down. Pulling the guards down, yeah. How bad is it? Uh, it's not good. I'll show you. Uh, yeah, we're just gathering plants. A chunk there and a chunk over on this side. It's it's survivable. I think it'll live, yeah. Okay. That'll heal. Okay, cool. Shelly, you want to do this? This will be your tree, Shelly, remember. The only problem is I have no clue about how to... Like, they're just, they're not like apples. Well, well, we'll treat them sort of the same. You treat it like an apple? Yeah, you kind of... You want that similar structure if you can get it. Cleaning the tools. Okay, so if anybody wants to encourage... I like cheerleaders. <laughs> okay, so we want our platform first, right? Yeah. So That's your waist. We need to take these guys back a, well, a fair amount. I'm going to start by doing that. Um, yeah, there's, there's plans for that. Um, I mean, it is a leader. So I'm going to take it right back. Okay. He's gone. Yeah. 
<laughs> and then, so now, but this is going to, I was going to leave this as the leader. Yeah. Yeah. So then this will be the only branch? Yeah. These ones will develop this next year. And you pick which ones you want to grow of so those. So would you take this guy right back too? That stump there? Well, this guy. No. I would leave, leave him. I would leave that as your first branch. Okay. I would, I would take this vertical part off and right. try and develop these two yeah. more spreading ones. Okay. Yeah. Can I take him off? Yeah. Okay. And then I would tip them. And then take him off. And so back here? Yeah. Him too? Yeah. Okay. Exactly. And, then and that's good for that first branch. It's okay. a good height. It's a good direction. And then you've got a second branch here. And this is your leader. So I'm going to take him off because he's making me annoyed. Yeah, <laughs> he's I know. Down. Oh, yeah? Okay. And then prune off the others. So can I tip him? Yep. Okay. Okay. So when you say prune, like prune all of these right back yeah, to the Yeah, right. Take them right off. Okay. Otherwise, you're going to get that all congested in there this year. It'll grow and you won't have that space for air circulation. Yeah. Gee, somebody else should have. This is um. This is a really good practice tree. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. I guess would he's got to come Would you out. shorten this one then? Yeah. yeah. Everything but the leader would be shortened quite far back. So is this two? These two are they too close? Like, or do you like him better than this one for going up that way? It's up to you. Scaffolding. You got to decide, Shelly. You guys. It's your this decision. Is supposed to be a oh, that was the wrong guy. <laughs> See, I knew it. I knew it. Okay. So <laughs> Not that one. one. Hello. There. This guy needs a little bit. There. I don't know if he should be down further. I did tip him, but maybe he needs to. It's up to you, Shelly. Whatever you feel. What would magic do? <laughs> That's my question. What would magic and did you, say? you did tip the leader? Or no? no, just maybe that. Maybe he needs more. But he, we need a good, strong. Yeah. Like there he has go. to give the message that everybody. Yes, that he's the boss. Right? Yeah. Okay. That's where I'd leave it. If anybody thinks I should take off more, say so. What about this one? You've got all of this out on that side already. Yeah. So you don't need it. Yeah. Kind of shading it out, isn't it? Just above it, that little guy. This one? Yeah. 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 Um, that branch below. You want to do something with this branch, um, sort oh. of tone it back a bit. Like somewhere here? Or? Yeah, it's your choice, really. Just knock it back somewhere. Woo! It's a tornado. <laughs> good uh, and would you do the ends or not yeah why not cool. you probably get rid of that little one in there too right in between the crotch of those two branches uh, this little one? yeah yeah you... nice. little guys I they're insignificant <laughs> like so chop these yeah but yeah I've just thought with plums you don't do as much don't usually know. You can leave them a little bit more uh, wild. Yeah. It's looking good. Whoa! <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> oh, we don't have to tell My anyone. My brain is so overloaded with pruning right now. <laughs> <laughs> You're probably getting hungry. Yeah, time. that's what it is. Yeah. The coffee. These branches really, they're coming out of a weak point here. Yeah, yeah I don't you know got if I really too many in the one spot, eh? Yeah. Let's leave the one and the other one going. That one comes off. That looks much better. Yeah, that looks good, Ryan.